Welcome back to Call for Help. What is your email providing telling provider telling people about you? Well, sometimes if you're using a web-based email account, there are things that people can find out about you that you may not know about. With Steve like, Gibson's here. With, yeah, well, like with no effort. Uh, I had a dialogue with uh, a young kid who was involved in some online dispute. I think it started in some online gaming. Some flame war. And someone said, right. oh, take this to email. Right. So he, he started annoying a hacker who <laughs> and, and and he was using Yahoo as it turned out his email w was Yahoo and this attacker without without him telling the attacker anything learned his IP address and blew him off the internet <laughs> okay. you know just launched a denial of service attack right. well that led me to wonder what's the relative anonymity the level of anonymity of web-based email people people frequently will use a Yahoo or a Hotmail account to, to, to hide, to say, you know, f create an account, not Leo Laporte, but, you know, uh, you know, bell ringer 33 and they think they're anonymous. Well, or, or they'll, they'll sort of create disposable email accounts. You know, most people will have like their real, like their, their email account provided by their ISP, you know, Cox dot something or other, you know, their normal primary email. And then people will, will use web based systems, Yahoo, and in Hotmail, of course, the oldest, and then no more, more recently, Google Mail, just sort of feeling like, hey, I can check my mail from anywhere. Right. And it gives them a sense of anonymity, like they're more anonymous because they've just created this little quick fake persona. Right. It turns out that's not the case. The way email transfers across the net, and we can see in this diagram how, how a sender puts their mail on a server that then, that then forwards it one or more times towards its destination. Right. While this is happening, headers are being added to the front of the email. Well, it turns out that Yahoo and Hotmail actually put your email address right in You mean that, your IP address? I'm sorry, your, your IP address right in the mail. There, and I highlighted it in yellow, these are the email headers from email generated by Yahoo, and right there it says received from and that IP address. So even if my Yahoo mail address is bellringer33 at yahoo.com, the person receiving that mail knows it's me because it's my internet, my one and only internet address. Well, and if someone wanted to attack you, they've got your, uh, right. your, your temporary online identity, which is your IP address. Right. And, and similarly, here are the headers for Hotmail. So Yahoo and Hotmail both do this. Yes, and Hotmail says X originating IP, and there's the IP that originated the mail. So even though you're using a browser, when you connect to Hotmail servers, they know who you are. it has your yeah. IP at the time. Now, we should mention that uh, if you're on dial up your IP, IP changes regularly and isn't if you're on AOL same thing but many people have cable modems or DSL modems where your internet address is static doesn't change and wow. those are the people who are vulnerable and what's here. interesting is by comparison here are the headers for Google Mail and there is no trace of your IP address oh, in Google Mail so Google does not do this they are not doing that there's now, no requirement that they do it it's just whether they do it that way. I think it's sort of the old timers. Yahoo yeah. and Hotmail have servers that have always been doing it. Right. And it may be useful for some administrative purposes. Now, I don't mean to say that Google Mail is like more anonymous, for example, if the FBI or somebody really wanted to get your identity, I mean, you know, there's all this crypto stuff in those headers. I'm sure Google Mail has it records. <laughs> but in terms of receiving this email... But some other, know, some hacker that you send an email to doesn't know. Exactly. Yeah. There would be no way for them receiving Google Mail from you to know what your IP was, or in, in fact, it, because you're able to create Google Mail accounts, it is fundamentally more anonymous than Yahoo and Hotmail. Very, only Google knows what that crypto stuff is. But yes. Of course, if you're breaking the law, they could decode it. And, and yeah. And, and, and again, it, the idea is not to say that that Google Mail is necessarily more anonymous, except that from a f sort of from a the, the standpoint of people receiving your email, right. if you 
it, it's a mistake to believe with Yahoo and Hotmail that you're, there's no identity How in that that every single person who receives your mail can have. Right. And of course, many people's IPs are more static now as more and more people are using DSL and cable modems. If you were like trying to play a game with someone, pretending to be different people, like create multiple Yahoo accounts or Hotmail accounts, your, si your, you your, your same <laughs> IP address would be right. in all of them, but not in Google Mail. Now, I suppose if you wanted to test other mail systems, you could send yourself an email message and, and see if it in any way in the headers... I sent myself that Google mail that's how you found from, my, from yeah. my Gmail account. It would, it, would, it would have that in the headers, and you could see your own internet address in there. So it's easy to, to perform the test yeah, yourself. Yeah, very interesting. Steve, as usual, you've come, you've come up with stuff that I've never seen anywhere <laughs> else, and I think that's great. That's fascinating stuff. Nobody, I don't think nobody, anybody knows this. But now you do, right? Aren't you glad you watched? Steve Gibson is the head of Gibson Research Corporation, GRC.com. If you uh, were home to spin right, the world's best disk maintenance and recovery utility. If you want to read more about how webmail services protect you or don't,